The last mini project that we're going to do for photo repair is image C. I'm going to drag and drop him in and zoom in on him a little bit. And what I want to do with this is um, just take the regular or the spot healing brush tool, which is the top of the stack of tools that we've been working with. And I'm just going to find spots and I paint over them and they disappear. It's very easy. Now you need to be careful though as we get close to details like the side of the cheek here or the mouth that we don't overlap too much which would cause problems with the edges of the details. But go ahead and take your spot healing brush tool and go over some of the spots on the face. The next thing that we want to do is uh, whiten up his teeth a little bit. So we're going to use the regular lasso tool to draw a sort of blobby selection around his teeth. It's okay if it's not exactly on the edge of his teeth. It can go on his gums a little bit. Uh, we're going to feather this selection in a minute, so it's okay if it's not exactly on. But go ahead and use your regular lasso tool to make a blobby selection around those teeth. Once I have my selection, I want to soften the edges of that selection a little bit by feathering. I'm going to go to Select, Modify, and Feather. And right now I'm on 15 pixels from a previous tutorial. I'm going to change that to just two pixels. I don't need it to be too feathered. So two pixels of feathering. And then we're going to remove yellow from the teeth. And we do that by going to Image, Adjustments, and down to uh, Hue and Saturation. And this box allows me to change kind of the, the color um, so I can do kind of crazy things with the color. Uh, the brightness of that color or the lightness or darkness of the color. Now I don't want to do any of the things that I just showed so I'm going to set these back at zero. And the only color I actually want to uh, work with is the yellow. So where it says master I'm going to pull that down to yellows. And then all I have to do here is take my saturation and I'm going to drop out all of the saturation of the yellows. And the teeth will become cleaner looking. I can also, while I'm still here in yellows, change the lightness and just brighten up those teeth a little bit. So when I'm finished, I can click OK and then Control D to deselect. And then after doing a project like this, I think it's nice to look at the before and after. So I go to the history panel and I'm going to take a little snapshot with the camera button at the bottom of the history panel. So then at the top of the history panel, I can show my before. You can see the spots, slightly yellowish teeth, and the after, spots are gone, and the teeth are, uh, have less yellowing to them, yet still look natural. They don't look like they've been bleached or painted over. They still look like natural teeth. So before and after.